Hello everyone and welcome in a new video of the TTL3 channel. Today I will do an introduction of JSON for network engineers. So you won't be a JSON expert after that, but at least you will have a good grip on this language, which will come very handy with Network Equipment API. JSON stands for JavaScript Object Notation, and it is basically a method to format data, like XML, which is language independent. It means that you could use a programming language like Python or any other to parse and read the data from a JSON object. It is much easier to read and parse than XML if you check my previous video, and it uses the curly bracket to store and display data. So JSON object contain key and value separated with a semicolon character. For instance, in JSON, a router hostname could be displayed like this. The key, which is hostname in my example, followed by a value, my router, and the entire structure is called a JSON object. Now, a key can have several values, and when it does, we use an array structure. We use a square bracket this time to store the different value. Let's have a look with this object. The key is member, and we have different value here, router one, router two, and router three. So they are stored with the square bracket. Finally, the entire JSON object is placed between the curly bracket like we did before. Now, if you remember my previous video with XML, we had the XPath concept that allows us to create sublevel of XML code. With JSON, we have something very similar, which is a concept of nested object, where object will be nested in each other. Together, object and nested object can display the full configuration of a network equipment. Let me show you a quick example. I'm opening the curly bracket to store my first object at level zero. The key of my object is configuration. But instead of specifying a value after the semicolon, I'm creating a new JSON structure, level 1, in which I will store different keys and values, like time zone, a hostname, and NTP. At the NTP stage, I'm again creating a new structure, level 2, with its own key, the server, and values, the NTP server IP addresses. If you paid attention to what I've done so far, you probably noticed that the server IPs are stored in an array because we have not one, but several values here. Okay, everyone, again, the idea here was to give you a short introduction of what JSON is. It is important to understand it before you jump to Network API in general. I hope you enjoyed the video, and please let me know if you'd like to see more content like this one on my channel.